British police now believe that former Russian spy Sergei Skripal and his daughter Yulia were poisoned with a nerve agent. They are calling it a deliberate act. A video that uh, that we have obtained, which as you said, is absolutely gruesome, which it seems to show uh, people who are on the ground purportedly having been killed by a chemical weapons attack. Killed by a chemical weapon, a VX nerve agent, when he was attacked at the Kuala Lumpur airport. Experts say there could still be traces of VX at that airport tonight that could harm people. There is now mounting evidence Bashar al-Assad has given the green light for his military to use chlorine gas twice in the last couple of years. CBRN warfare has been and will continue to be used by those who wish to cause great harm to others. Currently, warfighters and reconnaissance vehicles must enter named areas of interest in order to detect the presence of CBRN hazards. Entering these NAIs exposes friendly forces to the hazard or potential enemy activity. CSERP will focus on supporting these urgent, mission-based needs by integrating the latest sensor technologies with currently fielded and emerging unmanned systems. The rate of advancement in UAS and UGS technology over the past decade has been staggering, creating new opportunities for solving complex problems. When partnered with evolving CBRN sensor technology, the possibilities for innovative CBRN defense platforms grow exponentially. The CSERP program, or CBRN Sensor Integration on Robotic Platforms, created by JPEO CBRND, represents the Joint Services' focus on utilizing these technologies to aid and support the warfighter. CSERP is an acquisition effort that must adapt at the speed of a changing world and is an ideal candidate for the Acquisition Reform Initiative. As a result, CSERP was identified as a streamlined acquisition and will conduct rapid prototyping and rapid fielding. CSERP will be governed through a rapid prototyping cell to prioritize integration efforts into two-year prototyping plans outlined and formalized in an overarching prototype objective document. This allows CSERP to quickly place integrated technology into the hands of warfighters. Continual feedback from warfighters will also allow CSERP to rapidly conduct assessments to further refine capabilities and CONOPS. CSERP supports both mounted and dismounted reconnaissance and fixed site defense. Additionally, CSERP will complement the other CBRN sensor programs of record within the JPEO CBRND portfolio, such as NBCRV, DRSKO, and IEW. CSERP's rapid prototyping and fielding will reduce risk to the warfighter and PPBE activities while informing integration potential for future unmanned capabilities. Keeping unmanned systems' current user interfaces, control standards, capabilities, and swap requirements will allow for quicker deployment and ease of use. Warfighters will be able to direct unmanned systems into NAIs for recon and CBRN detection, significantly reducing risk to their mission. These unmanned systems will also provide improved situational understanding to the commanders making risk-based maneuver decisions. CSERP is currently poised to leverage these innovative technologies to defeat present and future CBRN threats. Utilizing rapid acquisition and prototyping strategies will allow CSERP to quickly identify and mitigate the unseen CBRN needs of the future. By modernizing existing platforms with emergent technologies, CSERP will create a more informed and better protected CBRN warfighter.